from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon. Hope you had a nice day so far. It's good to stay inside and cozy up with a book or some coffee by the window type of weather. Of course, we have those winter weather advisories out here. And of course, a winter storm warning out there, Plumas, portions of the eastern mountains from Bernie down south, uh, just west of Portola and those upper elevations. That goes until 8 a.m. tomorrow, so just want to keep that in mind there. Just wanted to show you the advisory map that we have right now. And it's really no surprise that this is the case, right? That system is full force here across the area, really at its strongest Look at that from 22,000 miles up in orbit. Just absolutely magnificent view. Maybe not so magnificent if you're standing out there without any, you know, jackets on or something like that, but beautiful. Absolutely beautiful sign there of things to come. And I think things to come will be a little bit better, but we got to get here first through the batch of this stuff here. We got behind it, by the way, behind it, what I'm talking about here is this widespread stuff out east, really kind of impacting the eastern mountains east of the valley there. Highway 70 from Chester through Quincy, well, from Chico to Quincy, rather, out there. I think you're kind of seeing a little bit of a mix right now. Not sure it's going to be entirely snow just yet, but lots and lots of precipitation. Of course, behind it here, you even have some thunderstorm activity mixed into the batch there, so it's just going to be unsettled throughout the day. We're going to probably be picking up two, three inches of rain with all of a sudden done with it in some of the higher spots, and snow levels are going to start dropping through tonight and into tomorrow. But the overlap of this lowest snow levels and the most coverage of snow is actually not exactly one to one. So we kind of got lucky there, but even still, you can see through tonight what I'm talking about, some of those areas that we're seeing a rainfall or sleep mix there through today, you're going to start seeing snow there out towards the eastern mountains, uh, Mount Shasta City there, probably going to see some of that creeping down there and east of the valley. But west of the valley, really not seeing any huge issues there. I really don't think the impacts are going to be too huge. Then as we head through tonight, that widespread stuff really starts to fade away here and it becomes more isolated. So as we head through Sunday through Monday, so tomorrow in the next couple of days, notice here, it really is just kind of isolated stuff there. And then by Monday, snow levels are going to be back about five, 6,000 feet. Really don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but really it's so isolated that it's not something you should necessarily plan your day around, but you should keep in mind though just in case. And I really do think today is the most impactful day of this system here, especially out towards Mount Shasta City and Mount Shasta itself and, you know, eastern Siskiyou County and the eastern mountains. That's where those classic trends are towards the more major impacts, some of those higher mountain passes. Out here west towards Hayfort, the Trinity Alps, not seeing any huge, huge, huge issues, but you still might have some minor to moderate impacts here in some of those upper level passes especially through the highways coming out here. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But tomorrow, I think the impacts really start to fade away. Like I said, don't think the overlap of the lowest temperatures and the most widespread precipitation will be exactly one to one. So we kind of got lucky there, especially considering the time of year, right? It's May. So really starting to uh, kind of lessen the impacts as we head through tomorrow and through Monday. And then besides that, a whole lot of nothing. Let me just let this play through for you and show you what I'm talking about. There really is nothing going on for at least the next five to six days, but probably longer as well, because we kind of have high pressure taking over. And it's kind of magnificent too. Check this out. So there's that system. That's what's impacting us, but it's not going to last long. I'll be totally honest with you. Here's why. We've got this huge, huge ridge of high pressure. That's going to push it out off to the east, and that's going to take over as the dominating factor for our forecast over the next week or so. Check it out. You can really see it pushing east here. Just doing absolutely magnificent. Temperatures well above average, all the way up through portions of even Alaska there on the islands off the Canadian coast. Just really absolutely magnificent conditions. So we're going to be seeing a warming trend, and we're going to be drying out here over the next week or so. So keep that in mind there if you're tired of this rain, which, you know, why would you be? We're doing actually pretty good out there, filling up the reservoirs, doing us some good. Here's your wave heights, by the way. I think we're going to stay six to eight feet here pretty consistently as the system moves through and as we head through behind it. Notice, though, up here just above the banner, in fact, you saw some yellows. That's starting to creep into about 10-foot range, but... That's a solid 40, 50 nautical miles off the coast. Most of us will be dealing with three to five foot waves along the coast, and then just out there, four, five, six feet, that kind of range. All right, here's your highs for today. 50s there along the coast, near 60 through the valley, but a huge fall off from those 80s that we were seeing the other day. Out towards Siskiyou County, upper 40s, lower 50s. Modoc County, you're lucky to hit 50, to be honest with you. Out through Chester, Susanville, out there towards Doyle as well. Upper 40s, maybe near 50, but I'll tell you what, we really did fall off in terms of those temperatures over the last several days. But, as I mentioned, we'll be back there in no time. Check it out in Trinity County for today, and really through tomorrow as well. We hold those 50s across the area, and we're back in the 60s. Check it out, man. Boom. By the time we're heading through Thursday and Friday, clear as can be. 70s and 80s taking back over, so we're really on that roller coaster here 
over the next seven days or so. Hopping over to Humboldt County, portions of the North Coast. Again, we'll be in the mid to upper 50s today, but even along the coast, we'll be in the mid 60s by the end of the week, really starting to clear out by Tuesday there, but the warming trend really takes hold by the end of the week there. Up by Donald County, portions of the state line areas, head a little further inland, you got those upper 50s today, but I'll tell you what, 70s taking back over Tuesday and Wednesday, 80s by Friday and next weekend, so whew, we are going to get right back into this nice outdoor weather here really pretty quickly as we approach the second week of May. Out towards Siskiyou County, I'd say lower 50s through today. Head a little further east, though. You stay in the upper 40s there. But check it out here. We'll take Mount Shasta City as an example. There's those snow levels increasing. That's what I was talking about through Monday, especially back to about five, 6,000 feet. Then 50s, 60s, 70s. Taking over by the end of the week. And past Monday, there's no rain chances. I'll just keep it straight with you there. No rain chances here as we head into the extended term. Out towards Modoc County, mid 40s today. So, or well, mid 40s tomorrow. So a little bit cooler than today, right? 50s, even 60s and 70s coming back in Thursday and Friday. That's the time frame to celebrate if you like those outdoor conditions here. Pretty much for everyone, too. I mean, of course, out here through the eastern mountains, Plumas County, yeah, we're going to be there in the 40s, near 50 today and tomorrow, but 60s and 70s await on the other side. Now, as we head through the valley, typical, as I say this every time, this is where the warm uh, kind of winters of the temperatures are going to be, right? Notice some 80s, maybe even signs of 90s by the end of the week, but 60s will be what we have for the next couple of days. So just hold out there and you get a little bit more warmth there. Again, with some 90s possible creeping in the extended term. So like I said, if you're tired of this rain, which, you know, why would you be? It definitely is a little bit useful. But even still, if you like those outdoor plans, you got some great news in store. We just got to get through this system here and we're doing magnificent.